Hey there, Jules of Guitar Jules here and welcome back for another guitar lesson. So I got the news or I heard the news as many did that Every Time I Die had split up this week and I thought this was rather sad so I've decided to do this guitar lesson dedicated to their memory and how to write riffs in their style which was quite a crazy and eclectic style. So quite a difficult band to nail down or pigeonhole which is something I don't like anyway. Um, hardcore definitely hardcore styles in there um, metal also got some real kind of southern bluesy rock and elements of i hate the term but mathcore or whatever whatever you call it i don't know that kind of dillinger escape plan thing with diminishes and crazy noises and crazy timing i don't want to call it progressive this was a band with really interesting riffs and a fantastic back catalogue so really strange really really different stuff going on um, a super powerful and interesting rhythm section a lot of strange timings going on and of course fantastic singing and uh, really again really interesting lyrics so let's have a look at the demo that I've done if I haven't already and then we'll get into a close-up and break this down Get the jam track for this at three different speeds if you want to play along and the tab over at patreon there'll be a link down there in the description um, and i will put all this stuff up on the website soon so anyone that wants to can go there for a monthly fee and have everything okay you should be seeing me in a close-up and as a smaller version of myself somewhere else on the screen so our first riff is in seven eight so we are counting like this one two three Five, six, seven. I'm not sure, quite sure if I got that last bit right, but you get the idea. It's quite hard to count that and play it. Gets very confusing. So let me show you the riff slowly. So what we're doing, we're working on, we are in drop D, which means our E string is dropped down to D, giving us one finger power chords. Now, Every time I die, we're a big fan of these diminished and these nasty noises and these plays kind of math core chords. Again, I hate that word. And these kind of diminished minor third intervals. So what I've done is I've taken this kind of normal riff idea from that diminished chord there or the flat five in the key of D just moved up a minor third and put that chord down here so I'm playing so it's kind of a B power chord to what feels like a G but it's an F again slowly then just normal old school metal I do pull that along so I have a slide. Yeah? And 
and then the last riff. And then we have this. Kind of a D minor six. So I'm on six on the B string, seven on the G string, and nine on the D string. Now into the next riff, I went kind of nasty, and I went into five, eight, I believe. So we got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And here I've taken this, um, it's kind of a D5, like a power chord with a flat five in it. Kind of standard blues scale, but what I've done, I've moved it up a semitone, so I'm hitting the F. So I'm, I'm turning nasty on all accounts. So we play open strings, all the open strings, D power chord, and then we hit a power chord on the 11th fret. And then we hit this nasty chord, which is like uh, just a flat five, really. Just a power chord with a flat five. We are on 11 on the B, 13 on the D, and 14 on the G. And we play that twice. And then we play the same thing, but we finish. Instead of this chord, we play 11 to 12 power chord. So slowly. Then we play 13, 12. So slowly we get this. So with that riff, <laughs> totally lost for words, with that riff I'm thinking kind of chromatic riffs, every time I die I did love. This kind of chromatic idea, so I've just taken it up here a little bit higher, and of course we've got that, that nasty sound in that they loved. So. in 5-4 or 5-8, I think it's 5-8, not to be awkward, just to illustrate their weird kind of timings on their riffs. Now next I just went pure hardcore. So we got power chords on 11, 8, 7. Old school, old school punky hardcore. And then to finish, it wouldn't be right not to have some weird diminished um, sounds against kind of blues scale. A blues scale sound, that kind of southern rock, again with the diminished and that flat second sound. So we had this. As we come out of that hardcore riff, I think it really does capture the spirit of the band. So we land here, first fret, and we're just bouncing off to that D. And here I'm thinking purely diminished scale. So for those of you who don't know that particular pattern, we could play it from here, we could play five, seven, eight, but I'm thinking five, six, eight, nine. And then all you do is you move that idea up a fret and down a string. 
that does change on the B string, but we're not worried about learning the diminished scale for now. It's not that kind of lesson. Well, it is a bit. So here we go. So that riff is six on A, then we jump over to eight on G, down to seven on D. We play the six on the A again, and then we drop that down. Because we're diminished, we get the luxury of those semitones. Five, six, five. And that last five kind of bounces back into the riff. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, so we go back to that one. So we get this. And then we get this crazy riff where I mix in the kind of blue scale or the diminished, completely diminished, however you want to see it, but I'm going for that southern sound there a little bit. <laughs> Let me put it in context so I actually know what I played. So six on the E string, five four on the A string, five six on the E string, and then we just bounce off that three and it has the same rhythm of bouncing off of that one and it's nice the way it goes round, it kind of, it, it never quite finishes itself if that makes any sense, you'll see it if you get the tab. So we get this. Feel the riff starts again but on the three instead of the one so it creates a really odd feeling of motion so let me play it fast for you so you get context Okay, so that was a lesson dedicated to the memory now of every time I die. May their legacy live on. I've been Guitar Jules, you have been you. Thanks for coming and I shall see you soon.